All right, welcome back everyone. In this next lecture, we will be looking at another non-parametric test uh, known as the Kruskal-Wallis test. Again, this particular type of test is used for ordinal or skewed continuous data. And in this case, we have greater than two groups of data. And for the Kruskal-Wallis, this data is unpaired data. Our objective for this lecture is to be able to appraise if a Kruskal-Wallis statistical test was appropriate for analyzing data provided in a scientific journal. So the Kruskal-Wallis test is a non-parametric analog of a one-way ANOVA, and it can be used when there are three or more groups of subjects to be compared. And it's also used when subjects are not permitted to participate in more than one group, so they're independent. It has its own unique formula for the calculation of the Kruskal-Wallis uh, statistic known as H, and this value of H is then compared with the chi-square distribution, with the degrees of freedom equal to the number of treatment groups minus one. So in this case we will be calculating degrees of freedom, and when this h value is greater than the critical value of the chi-square statistic, then the null hypothesis can be rejected. So this is a little different than what we saw with our Mann Whitney U and our Wilcox and Sine rank test, where in those cases our test statistic had to be less than the critical value in order for the null hypothesis to be rejected. So something important to keep in mind. And we can jump right into an example here. This time we are testing our miracle pain reliever drug at doses of 10 milligrams and 20 milligrams compared with placebo in patients suffering from headache. Pain scores were obtained for each patient in the three groups one hour after administration of the drug or placebo and are listed below. Again, we have our three groups. Group one is placebo with the respective pain scores, group two, is our 10 milligram group, and group three will be our 20 milligram group. Again, we go through our usual analysis here. We wanna make sure there are no assumptions that are violated. So we have non-parametric data here. We have three or more groups compared, and subjects are independent, so they're not permitted to participate in more than one group. We wanna state the null and alternative hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is that there is no difference in pain scores between the three groups. Our alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference in pain scores between the three groups. We want to state our alpha, which again is 0.05, and in this case we are calculating the degrees of freedom for our three different treatment groups, so our placebo group, we have a 10 milligram group, and a 20 milligram group, so three treatment groups minus one is two and we want to find our critical chi-square value, and so for this we are going to use a chi-square table. Alright, so here is our chi-square table. So you can see kind of on the y-axis here we have our degrees of freedom, and then up on top here we have our significance levels. So we are using a significance level of 0 0.05, and we know that we have two degrees of freedom. So this means that our critical chi-square value is 5.99. Alright, so we found that 5.99. If our age statistic value is greater than 5.99, then we can reject our null hypothesis. And so next we calculate the age statistic. And I mentioned before that our age statistic is calculated using a unique formula, and so we don't need to know this for the sake of this class. But we can appreciate from looking at this table here is that how kind of complicated it can get when we have multiple groups and we're ranking all these different groups. So this is just an example here of if we had to assign, assign ranks to all these different samples, it can get uh, pretty complicated, and so for the purpose of this class that we are going to use an online program to calculate our age statistic. And this program here, when you enter the page, if you use this program, it wants you to enter the value of n for each sample. And so we have six in each one. So it's just going to kind of go through each one. All right, and I've already pre-entered the data for us here. So these are just the pain scores for the three different groups, so our placebo group is sample A, our 10 milligram group is sample B, and our 20 milligram group is sample C. And then we can import this data. 
So you can see here we were actually able to, if we really wanted to, enter the ranks for the sample, but we only really need to go with the raw data. And we will calculate our H value from here. So we can see down here that we have an H value of 11.43, kind of reminding us of our degrees of freedom, which is 2. And since 11.43 is greater than our chi-square critical value of 5.99, we do have a significant difference between the groups here. So we can reject our null hypothesis. And we also have a p-value here of 0.033, which also indicates that it is significant at a level of 0.05. So again, just to recap, h-value 11.43 greater than our chi-square critical value. We reject the null hypothesis and can state that there is a statistically significant difference between the three groups. In the next set of lectures, we are going to look at the Friedman test, so stay tuned for that.